Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. I want to give everybody an update on Canada's public enemy number one, Marty Robert, a.k.a. Marty the Capo, the head of the snake with the Hells Angels right now in Montreal, the ambitious and enigmatic biker boss who's trying to you know, change the whole paradigm in the Canadian underworld and put the Hells Angels uh, firmly on top of that pyramid with everybody else underneath him, particularly the the Rizzuto mob, which had always been at the at, at the you know the apex of that uh, uh, criminal structure uh, in the Great White North. Marty Robert, from what I'm being told, over the last year year and a half, as this war has unfolded against the Rizzuto mob as well as uh, his. Uh, Quebec City Hells Angels chapter uh, going to war with the Blood Family Mafia, who's what we've reported is is uh, being co-signed by the Rizzutos. I'm being told by uh, both FBI as well as SQ that Marty has spent most of this last year, year and a half down in Florida, um, and that he's not even in Canada most of the time anymore. Um, I guess we can debate what you know, what does that mean? I mean, most, you know, we can talk semantics. What does most of the time mean? You know, what, what's the split? Um, but he's in Florida quite a bit. Uh, he's got a vacation home in Boca. That's where he was when we reported back in, uh, during the holidays, 2023 Christmas holidays, we reported that Robert had a Voided, evaded SQ raids related to the Greg Woolley assassination in November of 23 by going to Florida for the holidays like there was nothing wrong and visiting Disney World. It wasn't, now we're learning that wasn't just like a one off trip, that he actually has vacation property there. Um, and they had gone to Boca for the Christmas holidays and then uh, took a, a day or two trip to Orlando to visit the Magic Kingdom. Uh, his uh, Marty's wife, Anna Arbic, uh, Annie, Annie Arbic, um, is pretty active on social media, and uh, you can see that she posts quite a bit uh, from you know kind of beach locations or or uh, sunny locales that uh, that appear to be Florida. Um, and I think there's been some other posts uh, that, were, that are tagged uh, restaurants and other touristy type places uh, with, with Annie's um, social media. Marty, you know, from a strategic point of view, I'm told this is, you know, this is calculated. Uh, Marty doesn't really want to be up in the fray when all this um, violence is popping off, uh, both from a perspective of protecting himself from the violence, as well as being away from, as away, as far away from the law enforcement that is um, probing this as he can. Uh, I know that SQ travels to Florida to follow him. I know they're getting help from the FBI. Um, but it's, it's just interesting to note, you know, where he's hunkering down or where he's stationing himself during this conflict. He's kind of leading the war from a different country, from what I can gather. Uh, he's also, from what I'm told, rallying support in the United States. Um, not just with Hells Angels, but with members of La Cosa Nostra, uh, some East Coast Mafia families, some Midwest Mafia families, I'm told, uh, have taken meetings with him uh, in Florida and uh, have socialized with him. So this is just something to keep an eye on. Marty Robert is the most significant figure right now in, you know, uh, definitely in Canada when you're talking about organized crime. You know, in, in North America, in the world, he's top five. Uh, and and this is a guy that has a real vision and a lot of muscle behind that vision and a lot of gravitas to turn that vision into reality. I, I don't know many people that don't like Marty in terms of in that in that world. He's he's been able to craft this persona for him as being the the um the face of the new school hell's angels but also 
being very aware of where the roots are, where the um, where it all started, and, and we're talking about Canada, where the Hell's Angels, uh, you know, were rooted in uh, the late '70s and the Popeyes coming and becoming uh, the first Hell's Angels chapter in um, in '77, and and you have a lot of these guys throughout the late '70s and '80s that are even in the '90s during the war that are still around. Uh, that aren't as active as they were, but but Marty makes it a very uh, big part of his leadership persona and, and 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 the way he goes about heading the Hell's Angels now by giving respect and taking a lot of counsel and making sure that the OGs are on board with everything he does. Um, not everyone sees completely eye to eye with him uh, in terms of the. Uh, the, the 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 kind of relics the the guys that started it all uh but there you know one or two of them i think don't love the uh the violence and the heat that it's bringing but not to the point where they would ever oppose him everybody else is completely on board and even those couple guys that aren't still are in marty's camp and are leaned on for some form of counsel when he needs it so Marty's just doing Marty, and I'll end this with just saying that he he walks around from what I told you know like there's nothing that he needs to worry about when there are all these different conflicts that he's supposedly helping quarterback or quarterbacking. I'm sure that there are people trying to kill him. There are people trying to arrest him, and he's very carefree, very cool, calm, and collected. And I guess that's what you want from a a, a boss like this. You know, the, the type of mega boss that that Marty Robert is. So we'll we'll keep you updated with what's going on with Marty and the the, the Hell's Angels. But as the raids continue, as the law enforcement keep on putting heat on the Hell's Angels up in Quebec, uh, as there are still shootings and and you know murders, Marty is spending most of his time uh, down in Florida. OG Pod, Scott Bernstein, I'm out. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're a fan. We'll keep bringing you the great breaking news when it comes to the underworld in North America. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, out.